Once called the Garden of the East, Myanmar's former capital Yangon is a collision of unique architecture with prominent ancient landmarks and imperial buildings. Yangon was one of Asia's great trading centers, with grand Victorian and Edwardian era buildings home to a diverse of population. Many of Yangon's colonial buildings still exist, majority of them found in downtown and many need immediate restoration. One of them is Rowan Company. It was once one of the biggest department stores in Asia in the early 1900s. It was built by Robinson and Mundy Company. These old buildings are going to be, in a few years, is going to be uh, a rubble, actually. So nobody's going to take care of it. Some of the 189 colonial buildings still standing at present have been tendered to be either preserved or used for businesses. Restoration is a, sometimes is a difficult thing. Some of these buildings are very old. Uh, the restoration is not an easy thing. It's not just painting the buildings. It, it requires expertise. Sometimes expertise may be from uh, outside, from foreign experts that would need to come here. Uh, I think every building case is different in looking at the, the, the renovation techniques that might be necessary. So for us, one challenge are these technical challenges. The former Rowan Company building is now under the supervision of Max Myanmar. It can be said that an Asian building is the pride of the city. In the past, this building used to be a department store on Rowan Company, one of the biggest companies in Asia. Being located near the city hall made it magnificent. What we have thought about is like to retain this building, it's going to cost us a lot. We retain the old structure build it to fortify it, and then inside there will be a modern structure inside. So it's a good thing. So that even future generations who come here and see among the new buildings, we, have to still, we, we can still see the old building standing still, uh, rather than uh, losing all its grandeur and everything. Of course, I welcome the plan to have all buildings renovated. Being old, they are not in good condition. Only if they are renovated, visitors can enjoy new and bright ones. We have a lot of foreign architects, the best in Asia, and also we have local architects who are very good at renovation, and we have a consultation with uh, uh, Mr. U, Dr. Damien Wu, who is also, uh, Yangon, uh, he was also from the Yangon Heritage Trust. Our principal mission is to try to preserve Yangon's unique architectural legacy, the old buildings both from the colonial period, but also in a way to protect the parks, the lakes, the green areas, uh, the ancient pagodas, the Shwedagon Pagoda, Sule Pagoda as well, as part of a broader urban plan. I mean, our hope is that Yangon can be a great modern city and be the best city in all of Asia and the most beautiful city in Asia. We are doing all these, what you can see here, all these uh, restructuring has been done without losing the original place. In my opinion, it's best if this building would be for the public. We can have a tremendous economic impact. We are the last city in Asia with this kind of architecture left. If we have the right plan, this can be one of the top tourist attractions, not just in Myanmar, but in all of Asia. It can bring in billions of dollars into the economy. It can create thousands of jobs. So it's economically important. But it's also important because, you know, we look at these buildings and we think these are colonial era buildings. But these are also buildings that are really important for Myanmar history. 
Yangon's challenges to providing new infrastructure for expected economic activities remain high. Getting Yangon right and making it the most livable and beautiful city in Asia will be crucial in attracting foreign investments, tourism, as well as in maintaining an environment suitable enough for its people.